everyone. So welcome back to another academic video. This one is all about the graduation ceremony, but taken from the point of view of the academic. Hi, welcome back to the channel. Hello, if you're new, my name is Caroline. I am a UK-based physics lecturer. Last week was our graduation ceremony. And so our undergraduate students in the physics department got their degrees confirmed. So our bachelor students and our master students. And the graduation ceremony, the graduation day, it's always a highlight, I think, in the academic calendar. Um, I really enjoy it. It's lovely to see our students be able to celebrate all their hard work. Um, it's such a fun day to meet their friends, their family, their supporters. You know, it is just a really good, feel good day. However, as an academic, it can be quite a long day. There are quite a few things that you have to do. So I thought in this video, I would just share the academic inside of you on the graduation ceremony day. I'm very lucky, so my university is linked to a cathedral, so we have our ceremony within the cathedral, um, but I don't actually have my own robes. So when you qualify, when you get your, your PhD, the university you get your PhD from will have a certain colour gown or, or robe and a certain colour hat and tassel that then is your colours that you wear at future graduation ceremonies. Um, so when I graduated from my university, I, I wore the robe on that day, but they're quite expensive to buy. Um, and at the time I was leaving academia, so I didn't buy my graduation robe, I only hired it. So now I'm back in university as a lecturer. Thankfully, I don't need to buy my graduation robe for the graduation ceremony. So some of my academic friends do have their own robes and some of us, we get ours borrowed every year. So my first point is if you are collecting your gown or robe as an academic member of staff, make sure you get there early to get it and make sure you know the staff entrance. There are usually loads of students, loads of graduands waiting to get their gowns and their robes. And quite often there'll be a separate door where staff go through to pick up their gowns for the graduation ceremony. So yeah, know where you're going and get there early to get your staff robe. My, my second tip, and it's the same for the students, is take safety pins. Now, some of the universities are going to Velcro and they're actually having hoods that now Velcro onto your shoulders, which I think is a really smart idea. Um, my PhD gowns actually got like a kind of a silky coloured strip that goes all the way down from top to bottom. So you can't really easily attach Velcro onto it. Um, so my gown is still actually pinned on both my shoulders by two safety pins. Um, usually the team who are doing the robing, they have lots of safety pins to go round. But I always say carry a couple of spare ones with you just in case. You never know. You don't want to be halfway getting ready to go up to the ceremony and then find that your gown is falling off your shoulder. <laughs> so carry spare safety pins. After I have got my gown on and I've got my hat on, one of the things that I think is really important and that I really enjoy doing is having a brief wander about to see the students who are also getting ready. You know, quite often they are kind of milling around outside the graduation kind of robing area. Um, it's just nice to have a chat with them before they go up to the ceremony. Usually everyone's really excited. People are sometimes a bit nervous about the ceremony and what's involved. So I think it's quite nice as a staff member to be able to explain a little bit about what's going to happen, you know, whether they're going to be shaking hands or doffing their caps, which is where you kind of grab the side of your cap and doff your hat to the, uh, the person giving you your degree award. So it's just really nice. So I have a little mingle, um, I chat with a few students and then I head off and get ready for the ceremony. Now, as an academic member of staff, so as a lecturer within the department, I am part of the procession ceremony for the physics degree service. So what that means essentially is that whilst all the graduates are getting ready at one entrance of the cathedral, as academic members of staff, we are getting ready actually at the other end of the cathedral. 
Um, and so the way my university does it is we have a couple of marshals who are there to organise us all. Um, not a job that I would want. I'm really pleased that I have academic colleagues who are happy to be the, the marshals. And essentially they help us get into the right procession order. So this is determined by the university ahead of the graduation day. And essentially we go into a two by two procession. So I've got a colleague next to me, a colleague in front of me and a colleague behind me. And we go in that kind of two by side by side procession up the cathedral centre where we walk to get our seats. So as a academic member of staff, it's really important that I know who I'm following. So who's ahead of me in the procession who I'm meant to be standing next to in the procession and who is behind me in the procession. So yeah, I always make sure I've read the, the kind of the ordering and I know where I slot into that procession ordering. And then once the ceremony starts, we have, um, you know, there's a lot of historical, I guess, ordering to how things are done. Um, you know, there's a procession order. So the academic members of the faculty will go in first. So I will process in with my academic colleagues who are forming part of the procession party. And um, these will be colleagues from the department. And then behind us will be coming in the university, so the vice chancellors, the deans, the heads of departments. And then we all have set places that we have to sit. So as an academic member of staff, I have to kind of go up and then go to one side of the cathedral and then I'm sitting on one of the pews facing my person I've walked alongside who's on the other side of the cathedral. And then the, the dean and the provost and the um, heads of department and anybody who's getting an honorary graduation, they will sit in the middle facing the rest of the graduates and facing, well, graduands at that point because they've not graduated and facing the parents and supporters who've come along to enjoy the ceremony. So yeah, do make sure you know roughly where you're going to end up sitting. <laughs> and another thing is don't sit on the arms of your gown or your robe. So the first time I did this ceremony, um, the gowns have these really long robe kind of arms. And I wasn't really thinking about that when I sat down and both of my kind of arm sleeves got stuck underneath the people next to me. So my two colleagues either side actually sat on my very long arm sleeves and I couldn't really lift my arms up. Um, thankfully they wiggled a bit so I could free my kind of gown uh, and be able to clap the graduands. Um, but yeah, when you sit down, just try to gather up your robe around you. Um, these robes are quite big, you know, it's like wearing like a, almost a blanket around you. So yeah, try to kind of wrestle it so you've got control of it before you, you sit down. Um, and again, make sure you know the rules about your particular service. So when we sit down, obviously we will remove our hats. Um, we have to do it at a set point in the ceremony after somebody else has removed their hat. We then take off our hats. So little things like that. If you're new, um, the first time I did this, I just buddied up with somebody. You know, one of my colleagues was really generous. They helped me out. They showed me what to do. They explained when to take my hat off, when to keep it on, etc. Um, so yeah, just, just find a friendly colleague who will help guide you through what you should do and when you should do it. Then usually there will be like addresses from esteemed members of the university. And then there'll be a period of time where the graduands come up one by one to collect their, their degree, to get their degree confirmed, to get their award. Um, and that's the point where, as an academic member of staff, you do an awful lot of clapping. Um, so really, as a kind of a staff member, we are sitting, I guess, in the backdrop of a lot of these photographs that people will be taking of, you know, their, their student as they're getting their degree confirmed. Um, so you want to be always like looking attentive, um, listening, I guess, to the service, the ceremony, um, but don't go too hard on the clapping too early on. If you start like really enthusiastically clapping for the first couple of students, by the time you get to the end of the list of students, your hands will be really quite sore. So, you know, just steady clapping. Um, don't put too much energy <laughs> into the clap. Just, just a polite clap. Otherwise, you are going to end up with really sore hands at the end of the ceremony. 
after all the graduands have gone through, you know, there might will be closing address remarks again from members of the university. Every university will do it slightly differently depending on their traditions and their history. And then we process back out of the cathedral. So again, we're going now in reverse order. So the person who was behind me, I'm now following them as we go back out the cathedral. And again, we end up going down the middle of the cathedral, walking past the parents, supporters, friends and family, and the now graduated students. So yeah, it's, it's really, really good fun. I really enjoy it. It's really good to see students that you've taught, you know, maybe students that are your personal tutees, ones that have gone to your lecture classes. It's lovely to see them complete their degrees. Um, so yeah, let me know, have you been to a graduation ceremony as an academic member of staff? Are you going to one this year? Are you looking forward to it? Um, I always choose really comfortable shoes. <laughs> You can you can tell the staff members because they're all there wearing comfortable flat shoes or very low heels. Um, sometimes the students come in quite high heels, but I'm always impressed that they manage to walk in because our cathedral has steps. You have to go up steps and then down steps after you've got your degree confirmed. So yeah, high heels. It's impressive those people who who tackle the stairs in some kind of complicated shoe. Um, but yeah, I tend to wear flat shoes, smart but comfortable clothing. And if you haven't got really good pockets, one of the tricks that my colleague taught me was I have a really long crossbody bag that's tiny. Literally, it just holds my phone, um, my kind of office keys um, and a little bit of money. And I put it over one shoulder and I put my gown over the top and then you can't see the tiny bag, which means that I can then walk freely up the procession and up into the cathedral without people knowing that I've got a, I've got a tiny little bag containing my phone and my keys. Um, sometimes I'll have an outfit that has pockets that I can put the pockets in and use the pockets to put stuff in. But if I don't, the small bag is my sneaky trick that I learned from another academic as to how to carry bits and pieces into the ceremony without it being noticeable. But yeah, let me know. Are you going to a ceremony? Would you like to go to a ceremony? Are they not really your thing? Do you not like them at all? Um, leave me a comment. As always, I really, really do enjoy reading your comments. Um, lots of good content coming up over the summer. Lots of topics we can talk about. Just because the students graduate, my job does not stop. In fact, the summer gets really busy <laughs> and I can explain why in a future video. Um, but keep looking after yourselves. Take care and I'll see you next Monday for another academic video. Bye!